Yes, lads, how's it going? Danny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, lads, what we have got for you, January upgrade predictions. It is officially January 1st, app new decade, boys, okay? I uh, hope you all had a great New Year's party or whatever if you do that. Uh, yeah, it's at the time this is going out, it's January the 1st, 2020. That sounds weird. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly... I should have done a little bit of research. I don't really know when January upgrades come out. Obviously, January, yeah. I don't know what date. It could be... I, I, I don't know. Uh, so, I thought I'd get it out. I'll get it out of the way and make a prediction January 1st. Um, this is going to be a lot of Premier League players. I'll be completely honest with you. I do watch a lot of Premier League. I watch a little bit of Bundesliga. And then, obviously, like, Champions League, stuff like that. Uh, I don't watch a lot of the other leagues. As I said... Premier League and a bit of Bundesliga. I don't really watch any other league. Uh, so what I have used, I've used my mind, you know, my thoughts for the Premier League. And I've gone to Reddit, I've gone to Twitter, I've gone to YouTube, I've gone to like, you know, Instagram, stuff like that. And I've, I've seen, I've, I tweeted out asking you guys who you think deserves an upgrade. And I've kind of gone from that. So the Premier League ones are going to be, you know, my kind of, my kind of thoughts. And then I've used other people's ideas uh, for basically the other leagues, just because I didn't want to make the whole video just Premier League because it would be boring. But yeah, with with saying that, there are a lot of Premier League players. You're just gonna have to forgive that. I don't really watch a lot of other leagues. Uh, we're gonna get straight into it. If you're new around, hit the subscribe button. And as I said, these are only predictions, so if I get it wrong, I apologise. We get straight into the first one. Now, Timo Werner. Uh, by the way, the, the stats to the right are by Footbin, so thank you very much, Footbin. Uh, yeah, Timo Werner has an... I don't know. This guy gets, like, five informs and a team of season every year, and he still gets an 83 rated somehow. I think he was even... I think... Was that a down... No, it can't be a downgrade. Anyway, uh, I've gone for a plus two... How like I've gone realistic with this. Honestly, this guy should be like eighty six rated at least. Um, but yeah, I've gone for a plus two on him. As I said, the ratings aren't you know Werner will probably get one, whether it be a plus one, a plus two, a plus three. That's not down to me, lads. I've just gone for what I think EA are gonna do. So if it was me in the in the decision, I would go for like an eighty six Timo Werner. So take the ratings with a pinch of salt, boys. Okay, don't hate me. Uh, yeah, Timo Werner has an absolutely outstanding season so far. Uh, 18 games in 17 league matches for RB Leipzig. Uh, and then six matches. Are they in a Champions League? Yeah, no, they are in a Champions League. Uh, he's got three goals, one assist in six matches. Uh, yeah, so that bottom, that bottom tier stat thing is Champions League or Europa League, depending on what the team's in. So, yeah, uh, great card. I, I was going to do his player of the month, but I just didn't because he was like 300k or something like that. We we'll get straight into the next one. Now, as I said, it's a it's bit uh, it's Premier League heavy. Okay, so they're going to be a lot of Premier League players. We have a Marcus Rashford, and I just think in 83 uh, he has been good this season. Don't get me wrong, uh, he he's been probably United's best player this season. I'd I'd say, uh, and yeah, he's had a superb season. 20 matches in the in the league, 12 goals in a Premier League. It's, I mean, it's pretty well going. Uh, he's currently in 83. So, again, I've just gone for a plus two, very similar to Timo Werner. Uh, he could get a position change to left wing. So, that's, you know, I, I think I think he plays striker a lot of the time. But when Martial's in a team, then Rashford plays left wing. Uh, but, yeah, he could be a left wing. It depends if he want to do it. Uh, and if you've done footmas Rashford, he'd probably get a plus one, plus two. I, I for some reason, yeah, don't shout at me. I've done footmas Rashford. He's okay. But, yeah. Uh, now, this one, this one surprised me. I'll be honest with you. When when Fever Twenty ratings came out, I believe Lewandowski got downgraded. I might be saying that completely wrong. I think Lewandowski got a minus one this year, which is just ridiculous. Right now, he is honestly probably top three strikers in the world. No, not probably. He is top three strikers in the world. Uh, in my team of the year vote, I voted for him striker. But let's be fair, it will probably go to like Mbappe or someone. Uh, I but I believe he deserves a team of the year. To be honest with you, uh, nineteen goals in seventeen matches and a Champions League. 10 goals in five matches. Like, he's just... He's a great player. Uh, I've gone for a plus one. As I said, if it was me doing the ratings, it would be a plus two, plus... Three. I, I, I'll give him, like, a 91, to be honest with you. Uh, but I've just gone for realistic 90 rated. Uh, yeah, superb player in real life. He does... He's very, very underrated, in my opinion. Uh, we go to a basically confirmed one in Trent Alexander-Arnold. I can't see EA ignoring this. He's probably going to get... Uh, at very worst, a plus one. But this guy, yeah, no, he 100% deserves an upgrade. He's a phenomenal right back. Probably the best in the world, I'll be honest with you. Uh, yeah, he, he needs, I'll be honest, he, he isn't the best defending. But going forward, he is the absolutely disgusting right back. Like, he is honestly 
the best right back at going forward, in my opinion. I don't think that could be argued, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, a, a, a superb right back. Definitely going to get an upgrade. Uh, I don't. I think 83 is very low for him. We move on, as I said, Premier League heavy. Uh, Jamie Vardy, again, he, he is a superb striker. Uh, again, I think he's quite underrated, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think people give him the respect he deserves, in my opinion. He's an 82 rated, and I've gone for a plus two. Nothing crazy. I haven't done like plus threes, four, fives. I've just gone... I've gone balanced, okay? I've gone for a perspective in EA's mind. I've gone balanced. Uh, this this season, 17 goals in 19 matches. Obviously, less than not in Europa League or Champions League, so you can't really get stats for them. Uh, yeah, this I think it speaks for itself. I think Vardy is basically confirmed an upgrade. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if the player of the month gets upgraded because he's playing month 86. So I think if you've done the player of the month, lads, I, I don't think it's going to get upgraded. I might I might be completely wrong, but I think I think it's not going to get upgraded. We finally have not a Premier League player. Um, I've heard a lot about Odegaard, and I I went on the there's a website called Transfer Market, and he said this season he's played 15 games as a cam attacking mid, uh, and like one or two at right wing. So I've gone for a position changed Odegaard a plus. And he said plus two there. That would mean a plus four for Odegaard. A position change. Yeah, this guy apparently he got an informal already. Uh, so he's informal. Get upgraded. Yeah, apparently this guy's class in real life. Uh, the stats aren't bad for a cam. They're not great. Uh, I've read. I've read that he plays a centre mid though. So I'm not sure. It's either he, he plays central basically, either centre mid or cam. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Apparently a very good player. So yeah, we move on. A a transferred. Upgraded card. Uh, Halland recently just signed for Dortmund. Interesting one because uh, like United were linked with him, stuff like that. And no one, no one linked him with Dortmund, and all of a sudden he's gone to Dortmund. Uh, yeah, this the stats speak for itself, lads. This guy is an absolutely unreal. I've gone for a massive shooting boost, to be honest with you, uh, because yeah, he. I mean, sixteen goals in fourteen matches, and then eight goals in six matches in the Champions League. It, it's unreal. Uh, I. I see this guy being a very, very big talent in a couple years' time. Or, I mean, even now, he's a big talent. Uh, yeah, I've gone for a massive upgrade here. I've gone for a plus eight. Uh, whether that... I, 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 th this guy has to be a gold. Like, th look at them stats on the right-hand side of your screen. And then that, this, th that guy right now is a silver card on FIFA. I just can't picture it. So, literally, worst-case scenario, this guy's being a gold card uh, for January upgrades. I can't see him being a silver them stats are not for sil like for a silver uh, striker in real life. Now we have uh, Dan Danny Ings. Again, I'm gonna, I've been saying it all this every uh, every player underrated, mate. He has got 12 goals in 20 matches in for this season for Southampton. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's rated that much. He's very underrated in my opinion. I've gone for a plus five. That might be a bit unrealistic, but hey, it's better to be optimistic than unrealistic yeah uh i can see it being like a plus two maybe plus four 81 is a bit re uh bit you know it's reaching but i i believe this guy is a great strike in real life uh this guy ea mate how is adama triore a silver player this guy deserves some respect i i, I love watching adama triore play in real life uh, i've gone for a pretty big shooting boost with a plus 10 because some of his shots man like uh, I, I honestly I love watching this guy. Uh, his match against Man City when they won three two when he scored when he bodied Furlon at uh, Furlan Mendy when he bodied Benjamin Mendy and you know sweated it in there. I absolutely love Triore. I think he's one of probably honestly I, I really enjoy watching him. Like he's probably one of my favourite players to watch. Uh, just because he's so he's just so good. I don't see how he's a silver card. I can't see EA not give him an upgrade. Like when you think of him, you don't you don't tie him with a silver card, do you? Like, he is not a silver player. Uh, we have Yuri Tillemans. Now, I remember uh, his first season it was pretty good, but this season, he's... he's I think he's done very well, in my opinion. Uh, I've, as I said, nothing too crazy. I've just gone for a plus two. The card still looks a bit bad FIFA-wise, but in real life, I think he's class. Um, and I think he's like... I can't remember what FIFA it was, but he had a, such a high potential in career mode. Uh, hopefully, he fulfills that. You never know. How many have we got left? Well, I think, I, I'll, I'll be honest, lads. I've done a lot for this video because um, I just didn't want it being... I've seen a lot of videos out there that's just the same, like, 
Trent Alexander Arnold Vardy. I've, got, I've tried to go for a range. I know a lot of people I'm I'm featuring are attackers, and that's just because it's easier to identify a good attacker than a defender, in my opinion. Uh, so I've gone for a Chiro. I think that's how you pronounce it. A Mobile. I think that's how you pronounce it. It might be a mo a, a, a mobile. A, a mobile. I th I always say a Mobile, and I always get ra uh, har harassed for it. It in my opinion. Chiro Mobile, if you're Italian uh, and you let me know how to say it, please let me know. Uh, 17 goals in 16 league matches with f uh, five assists. This is 15 uh, with five assists there. Yeah, again, I think he scored more goals than Ronaldo this year, which I know Ronaldo isn't really that good anymore. Like you can't really compare him to. Yeah, I think Mobile has outscored him uh, in the Serie A this year or this season, should I say? So yeah, I've just gone for a plus one. Nothing crazy. Again, uh, now we have Sadio Mane. Uh, I done his player of the month, so. If you want to give him a plus one, get you a play a month up there. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, this guy is miles better than Salah. In, in my opinion, I might get roasted by Liverpool fans. In my opinion, Mane is head and shoulders above Salah, uh, you know, consistency-wise, yeah. Uh, so, in from, from basically a left wing, I know he plays central sometimes. Uh, 10 goals, 6 assists in 18 matches, basically from left wing. Yeah, I, he played a striker, you know, a couple of times, centre forward, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, absolutely phenomenal uh, talent in real life. I can see him getting a team of the year, to be honest, lads. I can definitely see him getting a team of the year. He's had a phenomenal uh, year and season. Now we have, I believe this is the last one. I, uh, I think there's one more, actually. Uh, we have, I, I just got, I forgot his uh, first name. Let me, I need to, I think it's Alfonso. If I'm saying that completely wrong, I apologize. I think it's Alfonso Davies. Uh, he has filled the boots of David Alaba because D David Alaba now plays centre back. As far as I'm concerned, if you're if you're a Bundesliga fan, please let me know if I'm wrong. I think David Alaba plays centre back now, and Alfonso Davies is a left back. So I've gone for a plus three to make him a gold, and I've boosted that defending a plus twenty on defending because I mean he he seemed to be pretty like. Let me know if you're a Bayern fan or like if you just watch Bayern Munich play. Is he a pretty good left back? Because I mean, I haven't really heard much bad news about him playing left back. Uh, so I've gone for a plus twenty defending. Again, very unrealistic, but it's better to be optimistic. Okay, we're being through this, uh, and I think I believe we have one more. This guy is. I'm gonna say it again. Underrated. Okay, in my opinion, top three centre backs this season in the Prem, uh, maybe even of you know um, the whole the whole world. He is an unreal talent. Uh, Leicester have absolutely bagged a bargain with him, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I've gone for a plus seven. Again, pretty unrealistic. Uh, just because just the way FIFA does it. Uh, I can see him getting... He's definitely going to be a gold card. If he if he doesn't get an upgrade, EA have absolutely been blind. But I can see this guy getting a pretty hefty upgrade, in my opinion. He's an unreal centre-back, in my opinion. Uh, and then we have Tammy Abraham. Don't know why I made him sound foreign there. T Tammy Abraham, yeah, uh, signed. He was on loan to Aston Villa, I believe, and he done bits there. He's come back. People said, "Oh, he's, he's going to go." He's, no, he's going to be crap. He's absolutely done bits at Chelsea. Uh, Twelve goals in nineteen matches this season. Yeah, he's an unreal talent. Some of them stats I still don't agree with, but I can't just up his shooting or, you know, passing, dribbling, stuff like that. I can't just up and buy like 20 because it would just be unrealistic. Uh, I believe that's it. Yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, lads. So if you made it this far, thank you very much for sticking by the video, watching it all. Uh, let me know if I missed anyone. I know I've probably missed a couple players, but, you know, I, I've hoped I've got, you know, the general range of players. Uh, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you made it this far, please leave a like. It helps a lot. Uh, and yeah, thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. I, I think I have a team of the year flashback prediction, so peace.